The readout from the fifth meeting of the financial working group between the United States and the People's Republic of China says that senior officials from the Department of Treasury and the People's Bank of China led the two-day meeting, and they came out of that meeting, and they talked about uh, uh, cooperation. And Roger Robinson, who worked on China policy in the Reagan administration, told me that this screams of U.S. bailout preparation. Financial stability is what they're talking about, operational resilience, a crisis type of contact list in the event of financial stress. It, it virtually all pertains to them, China, not the United States. So are we are we looking at these meetings between the U.S. and China ultimately resulting in a bailout of China because its economy is, is dropping so fast? Well, look, that, that I think would be the very wrong direction. I mean, the biggest uh, pressure right. point they and I'm have wondering if that's in their economy going. is their financial system. Well, look, let's just say what we should be doing is putting pressure on their economy, putting pressure on their financial system, punishing them for fentanyl, punishing them for put their role in Putin's war, uh, for their military buildup, for all of the above. Their weakness is in the economy. That's how we win. Um, we should hit that as hard as we can. Um, you know, strategic stability, I think, is another question. But, um, you know, that's that's where our power is, and we should be using that to win this competition, not to help out our main enemy.